Your bread prohibition. What games do I play? Um, uh, I play a little bit of everything, crazy. But for the most part, it's Kerbal Space Program and Minecraft now. I used to play RimWorld. Uh, I, I played City Skylines for a long time. Um, usually on, we, we have a Discord and there's a sub Discord channel in there. And usually once a week they get to vote for a game or they, they vote for a game throughout the week and then that one day I play it for a few hours. They've picked a whole plethora of games over the years. I've seen Loki. No, I haven't watched any new movies. I don't get out much core, nor do I have like Netflix or anything. Always been paycheck to paycheck, so the idea of taking a trip is insane. You want to go to my first trip as a single adult. Where do you want to go? <laughs> you do realize there's a global pandemic going on, Flame Guts. <laughs> you know, you know what you should do, Flame Guts? Look into a Roth IRA. What did I say? Twitch closed. You're gonna have to clip it, my friend. Go back and watch the VOD. I don't know where it closed and what you missed. Don't do Roth right now. It's never a bad time to do any kind of IRA, dude. I mean, I, I still think regardless, it'll still be worth it, Rarest. What what you're doing right now is your is your window shopping. Planning a trip is like window shopping at a store. <laughs> I'm planning on buying this, but I want to go buy and look at it first. <laughs> Spoiler, you never buy it. You're attacking. Oh god, there's four hoglins. Five hoglins. Oh my god, this is a death trap. That is a death trap over there. Just the planning is like drugs or something. Yeah, that's a really bad thing to compare it to. It's a really bad thing to compare it to. Don't, don't, yeah, don't compare it to that. <laughs> There's a castle that you can Airbnb in? Awesome. Flame Guts, start off small. Find a local area near you that's like beautiful, that has like some neat accommodations. And like do like a little vacation where you go like have a little spa, maybe get like a master suite at like a local hotel or something. That way you're you're away, but are you, but you're also not away at the same time and you're not spinning an arm and a leg. Don't be like, first trip, I'm going to Tahiti or something stupid. Because you're going to wish you had that extra money later. Hmm. Probably crazy. Don't do that. Ah! Shit. I thought I got it. I obviously didn't get it.
<laughs> Flame guts. Be careful, my friends. Flame guts as somebody who, when I was your age, for somebody who, when the first thought that comes into your mind when you have extra money is spend, 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 please be careful and second, and and, and get a second opinion. Because you can you can you can do a lot with a little. You'd be surprised. I know it's easier said than done. Like I said, I've been, I've been there. Burning a hole in your pocket. <clears throat> well, yeah, but I mean, like, you just, yeah. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta take a step back sometimes and breathe a little bit. before the piglin sees me. So we currently have 58 ancient debris total. And we're at three hours of mining. I estimated four hours to get the stack. And we're on our last half of a pick. I'm not coming back after this pick. So if I can get six more pieces, that would be great. But I don't think it's possible. There's also a lot of online resources you can use too, Flame Guts. And I would, I would wager to bet that a lot of those meetings are online now, Rarest. Probably over Zoom or in Discord. Oops, I forgot. Oh, really? Awesome, crazy. Kick ass. Yeah, there's a lake here. Oh, I, I could imagine Rarest. It's just like working from home too. When you don't have that supervision, you're going to play a lot more. Shit. We're going to try and inch ourselves close to this lava lake. There's one part of it right there. So we found that side. Let's find the back side. Okay, there. 
there's that. Still looking for this end of it. Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. We found that. We took care of it. Let's go this way. More ancient debris. I'll take it. Well, Flame Guts, it, it all could just stem from the same thing, you know? Like you said, it could just be a simple impulse control thing. But that's why, but that's why gambling exists in the form that it exists in, because people do get that. It's the feedback loop that's involved in it that people enjoy. I can stop at any time, they say, as they crank it again. All right, four more pieces, and we'll have our stack. Just four more. Damn it, you saw me. Get out of here. I want to eat food. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna run these two pickaxes down to the nub. I'm gonna try and find some kind of ancient debris. I would love to find four more pieces. Maybe if I can hit like a, a twofer or a threefer and get super excited and then miss out on the last one. Because right now we have enough for seven pieces because we got two at the house. So that's seven more pieces of netherite stuff, which is more than enough. But if I can get that eighth one. See, look, Flame Guts, I'm gambling. I play bedrock no nope I never thought about putting more money into another version of Minecraft um, although as of yesterday they did put it on game pass Minecraft is on Xbox game pass so you can actually get Java edition for PC or bedrock edition for Xbox or PC as long as you got game pass which is pretty big You don't have to have an Xbox to use Game Pass. You can just have your PC. No, it, it's 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 a completely separate cost. Crazy, because they're they're essentially two different games. Damn it! He hit me. That son of a pig hit me. I guess I could grab the fortune pickaxe and kind of stretch them out a little further. Oh, there's 
some more gold. seems to be worn down to the nub. Give me some of that debris. Give me a threefer. Don't do this to me, game. Hook me up with the goods. There's one, two. Come on, come on, come on. Give me another one. Give me another one. Damn it. I need two more. No, don't do this to me. Shit. I need two more. Uh, I can run these two down. That's fortune. Here, hold on. Silk touch. And you know what? I mean, I guess, I guess we can try to do this. That one's fortune. Okay, so the second one is fortune. I guess what I can do is this and try to repair a little bit. Let's cut. Let me go cut some quartz. I'm gonna pop some quartz. Only got half a pick in my pocket. Because it gives me experience. And, I, and my pickaxes have mending. So it's gonna help repair my pickaxes just a little bit more so I can find two more pieces of ancient debris. How you doing, B-man? Long time no see, dude. How are you? Guys, look, it's B-man. He's here. He's back from out of space. This could also possibly uncover some more ancient debris that's like laying around. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, bud. Just playing some hardcore Minecraft. Trying to find two more pieces of ancient debris because I want to get a full stack. So I'm over here, last ditch effort, trying to like <laughs> mine some crystals here to get enough XP to cut a little bit further around. What are those blocks? This is nether quartz.
We've been silk touching full blocks of it. Because it's easier to carry around full blocks than it is to carry around all the loose stones. But mining, mining any kind of ore like this gives you experience. And we're using the experience to repair our tools. If you see the durability going up on them. <clears throat> You'll see the pickaxe in my left hand dip down ever so often. It's actually going down and scooping up experience balls. That's why it goes down. You haven't been to the nether? It's a crazy place. Once you kind of learn it, it's kind of like two-dimensional. There's not really a lot going on in it. But when you first get there and you're looking around, it's, it's very overwhelming. There's a lot to take in. But essentially, the nether is just one big biome with a bunch of little other biomes peppered in. Alright, we got enough. I think we got enough. So I'm going to swap this out here. Put you there. And put you there. And we're going to go cutting. This is fortune in my hand. and go this way. Free for all. I'm in. <clears throat> Got some more gold there. Am I going to see more of you, B-Man? Or is this just like a one-time hello? Look at that. We found both pieces right there. All right, I got it. I'm out. I'm running away. <laughs> we hit it. I think I want to grab some of this while I'm here. Exclamation point, William Media. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> I knew that was supposed to be an at. Why are you flustered? What's up? What can we do for you, Rarest? What can I, a lowly streamer, do for a member of my community? work stuff okay shit are we already full on that too okay i'll grab these crystals up Pop it in here and there for a couple of minutes. Oh, okay. No worries, my friend. I passed debris. No, I didn't. In the ceiling? Where? Near the lava. Gravel section that you dig when it fell. Oh, right there. Uh -huh. Cool. Thanks. Now I have an odd number. <laughs> Ruined.
Yeah. When you said that, I was like, uh, okay. Did I reach my goal? I did. We, we, we did it faster than my estimate. But I have a random piece now. Actually, let's just do this and we'll throw you out. Thank you for mining that one piece anyways. Yeah. Well, now I got to find another one. Or something. I guess I'll dig this to the end where the stairs are. Terror Cap, you guys did a good job because I found it in the end. Actually, you found it in the nether? <laughs> Not in the end. Get it? Got him. Exactly, Rarest. Shit. More hoglins. Arrgh, these hoglins! There's so many. Good gracious. Hoglins suck, they sure do. I'm no good, I'll see you in a bit, bud. They sure do suck. I think we're okay now. I just want to get out, but I'm low-key looking for some more debris. <coughs> but we are working our way out. We're just doing it very slowly. 